sound check again I hope you guys can hear me correctly and the music's not too loud not too quiet so we're back with another stream uh, Star Rail has released and it has been huge uh, I don't know if you guys like if everyone has been playing it but it has been amazing so far um, I am really looking forward to seeing where it goes from here uh, and today we are going to be working a bit on the story guide and on Hoyadex to kind of expand uh, the information available on the Hoyadex and to of course refine the information available on the story guide itself because after all we want people to have a good experience um, going into the uh, Honkai universe uh, to experience these games Hi Banban, Ban. good to see you um, it's always great to have you on stream. Uh, so I was thinking we should just like go right ahead, jump into it. Uh, and we're going to start with the story guide. So first thing that needs to change is these, these names. Uh, it says version X, version Y. Now we have official names. Uh, so we're going to use the English versions here. Um, of course we're going to keep all the uh, buttons for different versions where available. Um, then the missions, that's going to be a bit hard to log. Let's have a look at how the Star Rail Wiki has uh, come along. Kind of see if people have been adding a lot of stuff here. Can we like 
Let's have a change log. And I don't see a change log. I'm not too familiar with this, this um, wiki. Uh, it's good to expand on it though. Um, but let's have a look at missions. So whether there's like a lot of information about starting requirements. So this is just mission requirements. Uh, let's look at the companion missions, the ad adventure missions, mm. at space station. Okay, so these are miscellaneous. Yeah, these are like miscellaneous stuff you can pick up. Um, do they add requirements? They don't really mention yet when. Oh, here. Uh, yeah, they don't really mention yet when the missions um, are unlocked. So that might be a bit difficult to like map out the missions just yet. Uh, super close to finishing your Halo. Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> Have fun. Um, in the meantime, we'll start by fixing those names. We'll also pop on over to the Billy Billy channel to kind of see if there's anything we might have skipped over because it's not available on global because uh, those videos are things we would like to uh, find subtitled versions for to provide in the story guide so let's start with uh, version. version install Okay, apparently those were the only ones. Oh yeah, there's also uh, the Arilo page, no, uh, the, the Lofu page. We didn't add anything yet here. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's first check the dock. What's missing from the dock? Uh, yeah, the Chinese version doesn't appear to be on YouTube indeed. I don't even know if this trailer... Yeah, this trailer definitely exists on Billy Billy. Um, Billy. Let's go. Bye. Does the is the first video the reveal trailer? That's the question here. Yep, this appears to be the uh, release trailer. Let's turn off the music for a moment. So let's do our first little test. Let's see if we can find it with the Chinese title for a fan upload. This looks like something different. This is probably Japanese or something. Yep, yeah, it's Japanese. So the Chinese channel uploaded the Japanese version, which is like, come on, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't appear that the Chinese title gives us more luck on this one. Nope. So we're going to have to either re-upload it ourselves or wait for a fan upload for that one. 
Uh, yeah, this will have to stay as this for now. So, uh, uh, thanks for the note who, uh, who added in here as well. Um, no. This one? Oh, that's the yeah, it's the OP basically opening. Uh, we're not going to list that as a trailer. We're going to list that as a video. And I am actually inclined to put this after the space station. Because it kind of plays like an anime OP. Um, so when playing through the game, and having to tab out, of course, is quite. Oh right, the memory bubbles. Let's put it at the start of, um, no. If you have any suggestions in the chat, uh, don't hesitate to share them. Uh, did I cut them or did I copy it? It's, okay, I accidentally cut. Um, okay, Hurtless Memory Bubbles. So, when do they unlock? You have to talk to her in a very specific spot. You can't do it anywhere. You can't do it in just any location. You need to first have the bubbles appear, which don't, and they don't um, appear just normally. You finish this before talking to Himiko. Okay. Familiar faces. Yeah, the the big issue with um, Star Rail is the order in which things unlock because it is a very malleable game. So sometimes you'll be doing a mission and you suddenly get a message for another mission to start. Um, it doesn't have any sort of linearity to it. So it's kind of difficult to give a good overview, but we can make this less linear here. Uh, let's go with, okay, we've got the Trailblaze mission. How many stages does this have? Because this is listed here in the wiki, right? So uh, the space station today is yesterday, is tomorrow. It's good to have the name. Because that allows the player to kind of check up in their mission log, like, oh, is this still ongoing or did I finish this? Uh, so this includes simulated universe. Oh, wait, no, these are sub missions. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah. And then the voyage continues. Okay, so the voyage continues. Let's. Okay, here is the problem. If you want to do the stuff in the space station before leaving, I can't finish today's, yesterday's, tomorrow yet. So, how do we deal with that? Well, we go and list these submissions. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's list submissions. That'll make more sense. OK. 
Okay, and uh, today is this tomorrow, and Chaos in the Deep goes into the prologue stuff. Alright. Starts automatically as soon as you enter the game. Hello, hi, uh, Hasre. Am I saying that right, Hasre? Um, hello. <laughs> uh, which starts automatically as soon as you enter the game. Um, it will. Automatically continue into the next mission upon completion. Okay, let's do it another one. Let's do it another way. Duplicate it under the spacer and go chaos deep. All right. bumbling a bit today. How oh, Starreal treating you? It's been going like it's been great. I've been absolutely loving the game. It's one of my favorite formats, it's one of my favorite franchises, so that's really fun. Um, I've also been quite lucky, I've gotten like a Bronya of the first uh, 50 ball thingy, um, and then I got a duplicate of Bronya and a Sele in, in, Sele in rapid succession. Uh, from the like event thing so uh, that was uh, great hi demon bay how are you uh, so after chaos of the deep we go into eye of the storm and eye of the storm is uh, when we have chosen our protagonists Let's replace this with a with one of these with a toggle, so people can hide spoilers for themselves. Uh, should I put up the music again? Mm. It's like, they're some of my favorite characters in, in Honkai Impact 3, so it's nice to see their Star Rail versions. It's not the same, of course, like, you can feel that they're different characters, but you can also feel that they're, like, inspired by... They are alternate, alternate world versions of them. So how does this look? This doesn't look too bad. It'll be nice to get some images for it. I'm gonna have to make some images to add in here. Uh, Eye of the Storm. Uh, 
So you choose your protagonist at the end of the previous one, yeah? Yeah, you do. Like you in Chaos in the Deep ends with Get Stellar on, yeah. Using your dragon list, continue the list forward. A moment of peace. Uh, lingering shadows. Then comes simulated universe. And that's when you can go and do like whatever. Because um, this part is the one that ends with the boss fight I believe so let's go for a moment of peace There's not much to be said about this one, is there? No. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out how to deal with those, because it's for the sake of clarity that we're div divvying them up, but there's not much to say about them individually. Lingering shadows. How has the game been treating you guys? Been having fun with Star Rail? Have you not been playing? <laughs> To say that the first boss fight happens here, but do we? The game doesn't notify you when these parts end, so it might be a bit experience reducing, like it might be actually reductive to the experience if you're constantly checking with the guide. That's kind of the issue I have with this guide and the Genshin guide is that unlike with Honkai Impact 3rd where you have natural stopping points where you tab out of the game or where you can tab out of the game and have a look at the guide like what am I gonna do next these don't have that so it's very difficult to give people kind of a natural sense of progression through the guide um, and help them not miss things so that's something I'm a bit stuck on is with the the missions like you don't want players to have to okay I've like fought this uh, battle let me go check in my mission log that it's still the same mission because if it's not the same mission I'm gonna have to go to this website and, and kind of check if I need to watch this video or something like we want to avoid that so I'm a bit torn to say the least on how to deal with this. Um, so maybe we should deal with them a bit more in the sake of availability and a bit less um, in the sense of a specific order. I've never had that happen, the book lag. That's interesting to hear about. I presume it's because like the uh, it's it's a much simpler overlay in in Star Rail. Uh, 
yeah I'm I'm really not happy with how this is this is going so let's scrap this for now uh, and focus on the videos and what we might be missing so let's go first to the uh, OP uh, gonna want to include both versions of the song um, there's a link here you did with Let's play this one as well. This isn't supposed to be bonus, it's supposed to be a black uh, block. So since they're two different songs essentially, I wanted I don't want to include it as other dubs because it's a different video oh, like it's the same visuals but it's this it's a different song different lyrics so we're going to you include a an intersection with the two videos next to each other uh, and let's start by duplicating this intersection No, duplicating this column because um, it is a it is both uh, version Stell and version Kylas. They both appear in the OP. So let's take this column, copy. Let's go here, and we will add this as an extra column that looks about right then we remove everything uh, inside other than the characters themselves uh, yeah space uh, section right section move that uh, space it gone in a section divider section divider in a section all right so now it kind of says sets them both up uh, let's remove the division we don't need that styling on the border so let's go with default for this one let's also go with default like so and then we are going to duplicate this in a section then remove the contents of the columns in the second one right and then we add a video And we add a header above the video. I'm going to say uh, English copy. This thing needs a different size. This needs different color. And it needs padding. Let's put that to EM. Yeah, EM. Don't link. And we'll go bottom three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems about right. Okay. Then we duplicate this column. 
Uh, let me go Chinese OP. Chinese OP. Then we take uh, this one, uh, the best version of the song. <laughs> uh, Chinese OP. Works. And then we'll take this one. Copy the link address. And it's. Here we go. Uh, yeah, there's so much dialogue that's like very easy to get lost. So I really, really hope that the um, wiki team kind of steps up because. Um, Starrail really needs a dedica dedicated group of people to log all that lore. Um, we're doing some stuff for Hoyadex, um, but like Hoyadex is covering like what six games. <laughs> we can't um, focus on the minutia, so I really hope the um, the the fandom wiki kind of takes off, you know. Oh, the bubbles too, the bubbles on the space station, they're easily missable, so I'm also going to add them to the guide as something to uh, keep take note of. Um, right, so let's go back to the guide here. So there's uh, yesterday's, to today's yesterday's tomorrow at the space station, yes. There are no JP and KR versions, alright, that's correct. Um, unlock requirements, yeah, but it's not just any Herta. Um, specific Herta. Okay. The universe law block. Uh, we can keep this in here. Adventure missions. Okay, so let's get back to the Trailblaze missions. So, at space station. Here we go. Oh, that's nice how some information is there uh, in here. Galactic archives. That, uh, no list of the um, missions uh, available here yet. It's only been two days, like. <laughs> An interesting bubble memory that is about a sacrifice, and in it we see the bubble mentions the imaginary tree. It's not super surprising that the imaginary tree would be mentioned, since it's a theory that most of the characters in the game are aware of. Um, well, apart from maybe the people of Bellabog, um, but like uh, in Herta Space Station, like most people know about it and it is assumed that in most advanced civilizations that people would be aware of the theory at least um, let's uh, think it through so there's her there's memory bubbles there is the matter of the three key cards but i think the matter of the three key cards cannot be resolved unless you do uh, the Asta um, mission uh, with Arlan, or that unlocks Arlan. So, and that only unlocks after you've done the first part of Bellabog, I believe. So, it might not be worth directing people to do the keycard quests yet. But 
then again it does give them like access to the bubbles which can all be visited before leaving the space station uh, and the afro man um, the afro man is definitely a character that's worth talking to if you haven't um, the guy with the, the, the big hair um, definitely talk to that guy he's near um, a shopkeeper with the same haircut um, we are going to oh. 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 Uh, a short play that's the opening cutscene uh, in all languages wow okay and that's all subtitled uh, did, did we add it on in already no we did not uh, Today is yesterday, is tomorrow. Ah, uh, I know what we can do. We can add an inner section here. No, not an inner section, a text editor here. It's better we copy another one to preserve the layout. Okay, and before finishing this uh, information series. Wait, 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 wait. So, this mission series starts as soon as he, you, blah, <laughs> you enter the game. Before finishing the mission series. you will be given the chance to roam the space station freely. Roam the area freely. And interact with different missions. It's recommended to do so. There we go. That should be relatively spoiler free as a, a little uh, tidbit to explore. And then we can also add the uh, intro animation and let's pull up the Genshin guide to copy the layout for that. Uh, let's go for Genshin Guide. There we go. What's your um, favorite character so far from the uh, Star Rail Unique cast? Like the characters that have not appeared uh, in any shape or form in another Honkai game before. That's something I'm curious about. What uh, what characters kind of jump out to people? Um, you can't say Kafka because Kafka was already in another game. <laughs> I know she's a lot of people's favorites, but you can't say her. You, you have to say someone else. <laughs> Did I not add cutscenes? I thought I did. Huh. Oh well, then uh, we're gonna have to take a different approach. Hmm. I'm a bit tired. It's been a very busy week. <laughs> very busy week. Yeah, uh, let's go to the uh, Honkai Story Guide then. The main reason I didn't go uh, to the Honkai Guide uh, to begin with is because it loads very slow when I try to edit it. Um, Mm 
<clears throat> My favorite would probably be Asta for the space station crew, I guess. For Yarilo, none stood out to me. Maybe Sampo for Luofu, I'm not there yet. Overall, I like Don Hang a lot. March 2, can't choose, lol. Yeah, um. If we're gonna have to go by area, I think, um. For the space station, uh, Herta, definitely Herta. <laughs> she <laughs> she's awesome. Um, then for Bellabog, there's not actually a lot of like new characters in Bellabog, is there? Like there's Serval, Jepard, uh, Hook. Sampo? Who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing someone. There's of course the NPCs as well, but like thinking of the playable characters. I feel like I'm missing someone. I only named four characters. <laughs> Than you. Uh, and again, they've been doing a lot of like legwork with a surprisingly small cast if you think about it. Then again we do get a lot of NPCs to work with. Uh, right, so, edit. Oh, actually come to think of it, there's a much wet better way to do this. A much cleaner way to format it. Uh, and that is with a derpy terry. So we're going to insert a divider. Uh, which should be white. And then we are going to insert a, a header. Am I going to make it a small header once again, or medium? Wait, what? what's this doing over here? <laughs> what's that doing over there? That's not supposed to be there. Here we go. Let's make it white. And let's call it... Uh, what's it called? A short play. And then I'll add a little spacer here. And then we'll add a video. Oh right, there's languages. Yeah, we're going to use the same uh, method as before. Uh, let's make this large after all and then duplicate it. Put it below the spacer. Add a little bit of padding to the bottom. Um, bottom one, two, three, four. Oh, that's difference in there. Uh, oh right, it's relative in the end. We go medium. Huh. Let's do it like this then. Uh, and we'll call it English. We will take the English link, copy address, and then in here, paste. Now these probably need to be view sync, don't they? Because I don't think they're going to be subtitled. Nope. Okay, let's pull up view sync.
uh, add video. Let us take the uh, English version. Copy the URL, add it here. There we go. And then we take the version that needs to be synced. Add it here, paste. If you sync, let's check if it matches up. Okay, click to start buffering, turn off the audio on the English one, and play. That timing is identical, that's perfect. Alright. Uh, that means that we can add the buttons. So let's go with this, let's copy all that. Copy. Go towards this one, go towards this one, paste it, the dabs all right. Uh, view sync link, copy, and that's the Chinese one, paste, and let's clarify that this is indeed view sync. Do we use capital letters? For view sync, let's check. Yeah, we do use. We capitalize with the language. So we're gonna have to sync this one up too, and we're gonna have to sync this one up too. So let's do that. Uh, and we're gonna take the Japanese link, copy the URL, go to view sync, remove this one, add this one, view sync. Uh, check if they match up. Doop, doop, doop. Render, render, play. Oh, sound on this one. Match is perfect. Copy link, go back to the guides, paste it in, and then we're going to repeat the same process once again for the Korean version. Copy URL, remove this. Paste, view sync, copy, paste, loading, play, and that is perfectly synchronized. Alright, add link here and update. And we should add the text to clarify that it is a cutscene and you should not watch cutscenes before you've reached that point in the time. Play inside okay. Don't out until you're certain you've reached this point in the Anyone else have favourites uh, from the Star Rail from Newcast? Is my chat still working? <laughs> Update. Okay, so this is where it's going to get a bit more interesting, you could say. Um, after we've checked what's missing here. So. Yeah, no English indeed. Uh, Egypt.com, this one here. Yeah. Then keeping up with Star Rail. So, uh, uh, I noticed that for uh, Zela, the version, the Chinese version, for instance, did have the English subtitles. But for Bronia, it does not, uh, and because reasons kind of the same as with uh, what happened before, like they're not very consistent with it. I do hope they 
So I'm becoming a bit more consistent with it. Oh, something's wrong with the layout there. Within wintry nights, out of control. Snow and ember. Okay, let's um, have this one after the Herta space station. Nice addition of character trailers. Do we have anything for the EP yet? Out of control? Yeah, that looks like it's in the right place. Let's play it. Inconsistency and power. We fight the Doomsday Beast, which can destroy planets but struggle against Japan. It feels a bit weird. That is such a video game problem really. <laughs> it's such a classic thing for video games to be like so incons inconsistent with that. Because they kind of want to work in these fights each time. But uh, the confrontation doesn't always make sense and it's kind of hard to get a grip on how the confrontation works because it's like well maybe Himiko just kind of has that kind of super weapon or maybe like um, they just kind of uh, did a le neat little trick well you can't do that if there's no cutscene to show it um, they can't blow up whatever blocks their path every time they can't cross a path yeah yeah it's uh the doomsday beast is definitely a weird one though but it's kind of like who was present during that find that's what i'm wondering about because um i think was welt the one that finished it off i think welt's the one that finished it off wasn't it Yeah, the power scaling is definitely unclear, but Himiko seems to have something special going on as well. Well, we had a stellar on going cuckoo. Well, that does kind of clear it up a bit for the Doomsday Beast, I feel. That does justify it a bit more, the like uh, dynamic, because we don't really see how much they struggle or don't struggle because we don't really see the fight. Um, right, so universe law out of control. Right, so adventure missions. So let's have a little look at what unlocks when you're in uh, the space station. Uh, let's start with making some notes here. So when you're in the space station, you have the memory bubbles. Memory, memory bubbles. You have Afro Man. You have simulated universe um, beta. Two, I believe, beta two. Uh, like you can keep doing betas and until she says like, yeah, uh, run out of betas, and then you kind of have to leave the station. Um, what else do we have? Uh, that is notable in the space station that you kind of don't want people to miss out on. There's uh, the. Um, uh, a mission with Carlon uh, for the fixing stuff up with um, Abraham. And was there anything else there? I don't think there was. 
I think we're gonna have to wait until the wiki updates these pieces to really get a clean uh, thing going for the for the guide so I think we should probably as much as I hate to say it we should probably wait before continuing on the guide itself other than the trailers we can still add um, yeah so I'm gonna add the trailers I think we should probably put the um, Zilla trailer after the first block because of how she interacts with Brunia in the trailer um, like Jeppard and Serval aren't really they aren't that spoilery you could say the trailers but for um, Zilla I'd put her later um, and it's just Zilla yep Let's duplicate this. Let us remove the second inner section. And we only need one trailer. So we can do it like this. Wait, why does it say English here? Let's remove that. Yeah. Let's remove this as well. Oh right, um, who well, added the titles of the trailers, so let's use these instead of the names. Uneventful Night, and then here for March 7th, let's take a photo. Star Chaser. Then uh, the Gosp of Ignition. And the name in the name of Londo. Here we go. Let's close that video, we don't need it anymore. Uneventful night. All right, let's get the party started. So, this one is a normal video. The second one is not going to be view synced because it already has subtitles, which is nice. The weird thing is that the other two don't have the subtitles. So, let's copy this URL actually you know what let's because they both have the subtitles let's copy the Chinese URL to give it a bit more views because we really need to send them the message that it is worth putting subtitles on those channels Let's see if this syncs up nice. It is definitely cultural influences on these worlds. Um, I like that they're not really constrained by that though. Not necessarily. Um, right, that's synced up perfectly. Perfectly. Let's place it here. And then we need the Korean version. So let's remove this. This. View sync. Then check if they are indeed synchronized. Chup chup. Play. That's also perfectly synchronized. So let's put this here. And that is the Zilla trailer. And then, so these two, 
I don't believe either of them really spoil the second part of the quest. Or do they? Because I think they might. I still haven't played the second part of the quest, so I'm not sure whether they spoiled something from in there. So let's let's hold off on these for now. They're in the dock, so we know we can work with them. Uh, and let's move on to the Hoyer decks, because I don't think there's much we can do for the uh, guide without um, more info on the wiki. Oh yeah, and let's move uh, this one to after the quest. One, yeah. Let's. This guide isn't ready for use yet either way. But I, and I'd like to actually do it well before we start really sending it out there, you know. So let's move instead to the data bank. Data bank. And for this, I'm going to have to open the game. Play. I'm kind of torn on the idea of whether or not, like, it would be cool if Star Rail went to Earth at some point. Because, well, there's the matter that there's different versions of Earth, there's the matter that the Hong Kong Impact Third story is not done, so whatever version of Earth they would show, well, if it's if it's meant to be the Hong Kong Impact Third Earth, there's the, the, the matter of like, does it constrain the story? Um, but it is also something that would get me all giddy and excited <laughs> to like, because... Uh, well, it needs to go home, you know? I would be very, very upset if he never gets to see uh, Joey and Tesla again. Alright. Uh There's a lot going on, right, because it's my first login of the day. Can you guys, like, see my screen, actually? Because I'm not sure you guys can see it, even. <laughs> I don't think you can. Oh, sorry. Uh, full screen. Can you see it now? Uh, yeah, you guys can see it. Okay, nice. Uh... Got a message from Hertha. Huh. <laughs> this game is so well written. Okay, just get some random jade for that, nice. they fix anything more? 27th, uh, what day are we today? We're the 28th? No, we're the 29th. Yeah, they probably didn't fix any of the... Wait, no, the 29th. 28th adjusted some dialogues. Let's have a look at the data bank. Let's see if they fixed it. 
No, they still haven't fixed it. <laughs> like guys, guys, if this thing isn't fixed when you're playing, please report it. Because this does not say countless universes in Chinese. It says the infinite universe. And it should be obvious from the text itself, which for the entire rest of the text is talking about one universe. <laughs> It's so upsetting. Uh, oh well. Uh, right, so what we wanted to do was we wanted to get all of these texts into the Hoyadex. The way we are going to do that is through screenshots and uh, OCR. So first let's go back to the data bank terms. Uh, oh, for the record, there's also the characters page. Um, I've only been able to put in the characters I own myself, so if you um, would be so kind, uh, just uh, take a screenshot of uh, the character index, um, snip this uh, profile rectangle, and um, put it in the Discord or put it on this page. Um, either is fine, but so we can expand this uh, database. That would be great. Because, like, if you go into the uh, character index, you'll notice not indexed, this thing appears on it, so you can't use this image if you don't have the character. Um, Alright, I have Selena. But let's start with the terms. So, terms. So, the things we have listed so far are. Let's see if it loads. Yeah. Um, we've got name. Oh! Oh, right, I, I added that. I, I forgot I added that. Um, so, we've got a whole bunch more to add. Let's start with the English versions. So, let's go for the Janjo Lofu. My pronunciation is terrible. I know I completely butchered that because that's not even the right order of, of letters that I used. Uh. <laughs> Wolf World will bring many interesting things to the Lord. For example, I discovered an NPC that talks about reincarnation and he said he knows it is a reincarnation of a person who died a long time ago. That's an interesting thing, for sure. Uh, yeah, that's definitely interesting. There is, of course, the matter that um, characters are rarely, if ever, reliable as narrators. So there's always kind of the question of, okay, can I trust what the character is telling me? Because there's, for instance, this guy in Bellabog. And interestingly, so you've got um, Ch Chavez who talks about uh, Sampo and his schemes and that dialogue uses the term parallel worlds in Chinese but it's mistranslated once again uh, to parallel universes but it specifically says parallel worlds and the main character then says well parallel worlds actually exist because well we know that's the case but then there's this other guy in Bellabog and he says parallel universes in Chinese but he is presented as a complete quack a buffoon like someone who's kind of making stuff up and saying it's science so uh, definitely not all reliable characters I'm curious about who talks about reincarnation whether it's like a trustworthy source or a non-trustworthy one um, so I don't want to retype everything in these texts. When did I get the Shanzo Lofu? Yeah. So instead we are going to open to OCR and we're just going to slide this in here. Okay, and it's going to extract the text for us. Any second now. <laughs> um, here we go. 
copy and edit source ocean of stars like a one way arrow. So this is another one of those annoying things and I really really wish they had a translation bible. Specifically the endless ocean of stars, uh, the sea of stars, the, um, the universe, the milky way, the galaxy, star systems, planets, worlds, all those kinds of things they completely change translations constantly. They are not consistent with how they translate these things even though they are very definitely specific concepts within this law. So I really wish they had some sort of like Bible, some sort of um, translation Bible where they listed some key terms and are like okay you should always translate this word like this if the context allows for it. Oh, unfortunately, it's uh, never quite that convenient, is it? Copy this. Let me go in here. Paste it. Delete. Uh, let's move the button. To conducting and help as many worlds ravaged by the denizens. Is, uh, is Fleming no people arrived at the lawful tons of visitors filling the locks all right the warfare has receded so copy this look out for synesthesia beacon of denizens of abundance star skiffs Contact. Condition remains on guard. Desire for mortality is the beginning of all tragedies. Not allow the younger civilizations to walk. Uh, next page. Never, I don't know Google Lens like I've never used it. I don't even really know what it is, <laughs> frankly. Uh, to walk its old path. That did, I could have just typed that. <laughs> I did not need to extract that. Uh, the next one is uh, Lewis Fleming. Okay. Safe changes. I'm gonna have to clean up some of the punctuation here with the spaces that don't need to be there. So doing this allows for a, an easily quotable source because one of the annoying things about discussing lore is when you have to go into the game to find it or you have to go into recordings to find it, you can't just go somewhere, select a piece of text and copy it. Um, so it's nice to be able to do this. Unfortunately it's a lot harder to do this for um, the... Time limited, uh, no, not time limited for unrepeatable content such as dialogues. Let's use this one. Put them in your CR. Let's go.
I do think it would be good to have an avatar. Like, um, cause I don't really want to show my face personally. I'm, I'm not comfortable showing my face live. Um, but I think it would do a lot for these streams to kind of have some sort of face on screen to, I don't know, to, to kind of fill in the void. <laughs> I don't know what you your thoughts are on that idea. Uh, Louis Fleming. Currently, I'm just a disembodied voice on a computer. Man famous for 700 and so amber errors. Fourteen thousand six hundred board meetings. Oof. The most powerful person in the universe after the Aeons. body can possibly endure such an eternity that Lewis is a name inherited by generations of the same family. Some believe that Director Fleming is a myth deliberately maintained by the IPC. Some believe the man used his wealth to obtain mortality. Some claim Lewis sent himself into data and discovered his mortal shell. Some even said Director Fleming had already ascended and become a god. The sure line is that this definitely existed and still exists. From that or other information about the man remains top of the secrets. It's kind of funny that like the character they call like the most powerful character in the universe after the Aeons is like just some dude. <laughs> like his name is like Louis. <laughs> Louis. <laughs> Louis. Like it's not like Arboroth or something like that. It's not uh, some sort of uh, Cthulhu name. It's just Louis Fleming. Louis Fleming. Yeah. Uh, Hertha. Right. Did we ever get like a, a planet of origin for Hertha? Something I'm curious about. Because the character records give like an associated faction, but they don't give like a place of origin, I don't think. Right, um, before I forget uh, to say this, uh, later on today Homo Labs will be streaming uh, and Homo Labs is the lore tuber that has probably the most, um, has been the most correct about things I feel so far, that has like the deepest understanding of some of the more universe centric stuff so I definitely recommend his videos um, he's also willing to like correct his understanding of things and polish it so 
all the respect for the guy, you know? So peace cooperation. I kind of hope Skrulem becomes playable at some point, because robots are cool. I'm just gonna have to say that robots are cool. <laughs> it's it's nice that we have Svarog with uh, Clara. If it was actually very smart of them to make Svarog as a like bonus to Clara because Clara uses standardized animations that they probably wouldn't be able to apply on a model like Svarog, like sitting down somewhere or something um, but it still allows you to like have Svarog there so it's nice I like Svarog, he's, he, he's cool it's like some sort of uh, robot mobster <laughs> but I'm gonna have to end the stream here because uh, um, I'm gonna have to end the stream here because I'm getting a little bit tired, I've been talking a lot, and uh, I can still continue doing this uh, information on the wiki. Um, I'm going to think of what subjects we can cover next time, because uh, we'll probably be doing another stream on Tuesday. I can't put a pin in it yet, but it's probably going to be on Tuesday the next stream. And I'd like to be a little bit more adventurous in the topics we'll cover next time. Um, regarding uh, Hoyerstan's activities and regarding the games and guides, uh, I'd like to do something a little bit more adventurous next time, yeah. So, thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, thanks for the chat, I enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, it was a short stream, but honestly, I'm just very tired. It's uh, been a very, very busy week, definitely. Um, in a good way. A busy week in a good way. So, yeah.